On the girls' basketball side, sectional semifinals begin this Thursday, and Cochrane Fountain City is two wins away from their first ever state appearance. Pirates have a 15-3 record, but that doesn't really illustrate how difficult the season's actually been. First-year head coach Rick Peterson says the pandemic made everything an uphill battle almost from day one. Start of the year, we played uh, Prescott uh, the 24th of November, and the next day we hadn't got to play a game for 25 days with the quarantine. So that was a lot on the kids when you've gone 25 days in between games. Uh, basically, when we came back and we had our five practices, it was like beginning of the year again. Um, so we were able to play a game on a Friday. We had a practice on a Sunday. We played on a Monday, thrown back into the quarantine for another 14 days. Talk about stop and go. Peterson says it took a lot of mental strength for the girls to keep working out at home and then come together quickly when games were back. Experience has a lot to do with it. Last season, the Pirates had no seniors and went 11 and 13. This year, all but one player is an upperclassman, and the years they've all spent on varsity have led to cracking the code as a unit with Peterson's coaching. And after getting through quarantine, Peterson says every practice he sees more confidence and swagger, and the seniors feel Pirate basketball is built to be a contender for years to come. I definitely feel really good about the program. I think it's gone, it's just getting better and better as the years go on and I can't wait to see what we do with the rest of this year and next year for them. Now the Pirates host Auburndale Thursday night. A win would advance them to face Bangor Saturday for a trip to state, which we now know will be at the Lacrosse Center. Lacrosse is confirmed to host girls divisions two, four and five next week. We're excited. We'll be right back.